The first topic in digital communication is input transform. Now before to that, we need to talk about the signals which you are going to take in time domain as well as in frequency domain. So if you want to make a detailed analysis or detailed study in the case of frequency domain, what you are going to do is you are going to take a Fourier transform of the given signal. So thereby you are going to convert a time domain signal to a frequency domain signal. So with the help of Fourier transform, you are going to bifurcate the signal components into different frequency components. Now, but its corresponding frequency components you are going to spread. So this is one way. And the second way in order to study the signals is by, by taking Hilbert transform. Now what do you mean by this Hilbert transform? You are going to do a phase delay of 90 degree. So this is what you mean by Hilbert transform. Say suppose you are having a signal x of t, what you are going to do is x of t minus pi by 2. Say suppose you are having some x of t plus pi, what you are going to do is x of t plus pi minus pi by 2. Nothing but you are going to delay each and every components with respect to its phase. Now, we need to talk about the advantages or uses of using Hilbert transform. But before to that, we need to talk about the properties of Hilbert transform. The first property is, say suppose if I am having the signal x of t and x, of, x cap of t is the Hilbert transform pair, the amplitude of x of t and x cap of t will be the same. And the second property is, if I am taking a Hilbert transform of x of t, I will be getting a x cap of t. Again, if I am taking a Hilbert transform, I will be getting minus x of t. This is very, very important. And the third property, what it says is, if I am having a signal x cap of t, sorry, if I am having a signal x of t and the Hilbert transform pair is x cap of t, these two signals are orthogonal to each other. Nothing but they will be having a phase of 90 degree. How can I prove x of t, uh, the Hilbert transform is x cap of t. So it is minus j sigma of x, uh, sigma of f. Again, if I am taking Hilbert transform, so what I am getting is, again I am going to introduce minus j sigma of f. So put together, I am getting minus into minus will become plus j square sigma of f whole square. What is sigma of f? It is 1 minus 1. If you are taking a square, its amplitude will be 1. But what is j square? It is minus 1. So in the second property, what it says is, if x of t, if you are taking Hilbert transform, you will be getting x cap of t. Again, if you are taking Hilbert transform, you will be getting x of t. Nothing but with the minus sign, it is minus x of t. Therefore, I can prove second property. So this is all about Hilbert transform. You need to solve two or three problems in order to get familiar with Hilbert transform. We know that Hilbert transform of x of t is x cap of t. So x cap of t is given by 1 divided by pi into integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x of tau in divided by t minus tau times of d tau. So this is x cap of t where x cap of t is Hilbert transform of x of t. Now we know that we have derived from x of t and we got x cap of t. Say suppose if I want x of t from x cap of t, so it is minus 1 divided by pi into integral of minus infinity to plus infinity x cap of tau divided by t minus tau times of d tau. So this is very very important. This relation is very very important. You have to remember. Again I am going to repeat x cap of t is given by this expression where x cap of t is Hilbert transform of x of t and if I want to derive from x cap of t to x of t it is minus x of t so you have written or you have got this minus sign and one more relation is very very important that is 1 divided by pi t this Hilbert transform pair is minus j sigma of f it is minus j sigma of f now what do you mean by sigma function see sigma function means you will be having for t greater than 0 I will be getting plus 1 and for t less than 0, I will be getting minus 1. At t equals to 0, the function is not defined, right? Or if I am taking an average, it is 0, right? If I am writing sigma of f, so this time axis will become f axis, nothing but frequency axis. Frequency greater than 0, it is plus 1. Frequency less than 0, it is minus 1. So this amplitude is very, very important. So this is how the sigma functions you are going to define x cap of f i need to define we know that x cap of t is the Hilbert transform of x of t similarly if i want to define x cap of f which is given by j times of 
signum of f times of x of f so this is very very important so this is how the transformation you are going to define right now if i am talking about the applications of Hilbert transform it is used in generation of SSB modulation to realize phase sensitivity again I am going to repeat it is used in generation of SSB modulation to realize phase selectivity so whenever you want a selectivity kind of thing nothing but especially you'll be talking about phase selectivity at that time you're going to make use of Hilbert transform pair and next application is it provides mathematical operation or it provides mathematical basis for the representation of band pass signal so if you want to represent a band pass signal so mathematical representation if you want at that time you're going to make use of Hilbert transform one important topic what you have to remember is if you want to transmit a signal you can transmit in two ways the first one is baseband modulation and the second one is band pass modulation now what is the difference between baseband modulation and band pass modulation is very very important now in the case of baseband modulation you are not going to superimpose your message on the carrier nothing but you are not going to take the help of carrier directly you are going to transmit the information but in the case of band pass signal what you are going to do is you are going to superimpose your message signal on the carrier and then you are going to transmit nothing but message signal plus carrier will be your modulated signal will be your modulated signal in other ways modulating signal plus carrier signal will be modulated signal so how you are going to modulate means with the help of or you are going to vary the characteristics of amplitude frequency or phase so the techniques are amplitude modulation you can go or you can go with phase modulation or frequency modulation so among all these modulation techniques one advantage with respect to phase modulation is probability of error is very very less and you don't require lots of energy nothing but no need to spend more energy so that's why you are going for phase modulation in digital domain this phase modulation i can relate with respect to psk similarly fm i can relate with respect to fsk and am i can relate with ask probability of error is less as well as bandwidth required is also less so we have improvised this psk so one first version is bpsk next version is bfsk next version is dpsk next version is qpsk so we know that qpsk is the most advantage one so what we have gone to is we have gone for offset qpsk then we have gone for qam so these are all the versions of psk only so this is how Hilbert transform is defined and uh, the modulation techniques also this is how we are going to define let us solve some problems based on Hilbert transform so what they're given is x of t which is equals to cos of 2 pi f t plus sine of 2 pi f t they have given so if you want to find Hilbert transform of x of t nothing but x cap of t what you have to do is for each and every signal you have to introduce a phase shift of or a phase delay of 90 degree so that is cos of 2 pi f t minus 90 plus sine of 2 pi f t minus 90 so this is how you are going to define Hilbert transform now so here what I am going to do is I am going to take minus as common so if I am taking minus as common I will be getting minus of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f t here also what I am going to do is I will be taking minus as common so that I can able to simplify this expression so it is minus 2 by f t right now what is cos of minus theta it is plus cos theta only so it is cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f t able to follow plus so what is sine of minus theta it is minus sine theta minus sine of so you will be getting with pi by 2 minus 2 pi f t what is cos of pi by 2 minus theta which is sine theta so i will be getting sine of 2 pi f t minus what is sine of pi by 2 minus theta it is cos theta so theta value is 2 pi f t so this is your Hilbert transform that is x cap of t now look at over here for x of t you got Hilbert transform as x cap of t which is equals to sine of 2 pi f t minus cos of 2 pi f t this is how you are going to find the Hilbert transform next problem 
what they have given is x of t which is equal to cos of 2 pi ft minus sin of 2 pi ft so for this what you have to do is you have to take a Hilbert transform so Hilbert transform is x cap of t which is equal to for each and every signal you have to make a delay so you will be getting cos of 2 pi ft minus pi by 2 minus sin of 2 pi ft minus pi by 2 correct next what you have to do next step next step is you have to take common what you have to take common is minus you have to take common so you will be getting pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft minus again sine of again you have to take minus as common so it is pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft correct next what is my cos of minus theta it is plus cos theta so you will be getting cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft minus what is sine of minus theta it is plus sine theta so we will be getting minus theta minus will be plus so it is sine of pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft because here you got sine of minus theta is minus sine theta already you are having one minus sine so it is minus theta minus will become plus what is cos of pi by 2 minus theta it is sine theta that is sine of 2 pi ft plus what is cos of plus what is sine of pi by 2 minus theta it is cos theta that is cos of 2 pi ft next let us take the problem they have given x of t which is equal to e power minus j 2 pi ft exponential how can you split is it is cos of 2 pi ft minus j sin of 2 pi ft so this is x of t which is equals to cos of 2 pi ft minus j sin of 2 pi ft if i want to take x cap of t nothing but hilbert transform what i'll be getting is cos of 2 pi ft minus pi by 2 so again by taking minus as common so i'll be getting cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft which is sin of 2 pi ft right so this is one term minus j sin of you will be getting 2 pi ft minus pi by 2 now look at over here what is sin of minus because you want to take minus as common so it is sin of pi by 2 minus theta again this minus sign you are going to take it as outside so it is plus j cos of 2 pi ft so you got this expression that is sin 2 pi ft plus j times of cos of 2 pi ft so this one how can i write means it is minus times of j into e power of 2 pi ft this is your hilbert transform that is x cap of t thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you